Inhale, exhale. And take a moment just to scan the body. Noting if there are any area of tension, tightness. And see if you can soften to those area, particularly on your exhales. Rounding down through the sitting bones, finding rest up through the spine, from the low back, the mid back, the upper back, through the neck, through the crown of the head. And then from here, we open your eyes. Releasing the hands to the other side, start to find gentle shoulder around, so rolling, and then down. And so the soil point outward, we are going to find circle here by bringing elbow together, front is touching the waist behind, and then rolling the elbow down and then back in front of you, so we ball come forward to touch, twist, touch behind you, elbow come down and then pull, so moving in this direction. Losing up the shoulders. Making sure that you stay conscious of your breathing so slow, intentional breath. Few more rounds here. And then we simply switch direction, so moving backwards now, so bringing the waist to touch, elbow turn forward, down and back. Good, then go ahead and release your hand to the mat. Just make sure that your left leg in front of your leg, right leg here in your seat position. Go ahead, drop the right ear toward your right shoulders. Placing the left hand, fingertip on top of the ground. And so the feet the stretch. Stay. If you like, you can reach the right hand up, bending the elbow. Bending the elbow, place the right fingertips on the left side of the head. Just gently drawing the right ear close toward the right shoulders. Increasing the stretch among the left side of the neck. You can, you can close your eyes, your eyes here. And if you would like, you, like you gently talk the chin towards the chest. You will feel the stretch more in the back of the neck. You can release your right, you can hand, release your right hand back down. 
Gently bring the head back so you're opening up the front of the neck this time. Breathing into any area of tension. If you like to dip the next stretch at any time, you can lift the left hand up of the mat. Bring you beside you and lift the left arm up. Lift and the left arm up and over. Getting a side Getting by a stretch. stretch. Breathing space, Breathing in, space in between the ribs. From here, gave the arm at the man. Bend the elbow and place the left fingertip at the base of the screw. From here, gave up and spin the chest open toward. The ceiling as you exhale, round through the spine, bring the left elbow to the right knees. Big inhale as you open your chest. Exhale, round forward, bringing the elbow to the knee. Good, inhale, lift the gaze, lift the chest. And one last time as you exhale, drop the shoulder. Elbow to knee, inhale, nice big chest opener, straining out the left arm and then just finding some circle heels, stretching the arm around, moving in one direction, and then moving in the opposite direction, keep the press going. Good, now plant the left hand down, come back to center. Take a big inhale as you reach right arm, as you exhale. Twist to the left, so the right arm comes to the grip the knee. Keep the game neutral here. Now feel gentle stretch, maybe in mid back and the front of the right shoulders. And then slowly come back to center, find the neutral spine. From here, From here, we are going to craft the, the hand to interlacing the fingers, drawing the fist toward the ground, stretch out the elbow, pressing the palms together, lift the chest. This feels really, really good in the shoulder. You can lift the gaze. Draw the belly forward. Feel the shoulder. Roll together, find the retraction of the shoulder, drawing the first draw the ground, taking one more breath here. And then slowly relax the hands, placing them in front of you. Then go ahead, walk the fingertips forward. Rolling the upper body, bring the forehead to the mat, letting the heavy neck hang heavy, just rounding through the upper spine, getting gentle stretch in the hips. Head and slowly lift yourself back up. Go ahead and switch feet. So the right leg is going to be in front this time in your seat position. Then from here, you're going to gently drop the left ear toward the left shoulder, releasing the hand alongside the body. Coming on the finger tree. 
Filling this stretch along the right side of the neck, maybe the top of the shoulders. Reaching the left arm so if you like inventing the elbow, the French the left fingertip on the top of the head, gently dipping the stretch. Breathing here. And beginning to tuck the chin toward the chest, stretching out the cervical spine, the back of the neck, trying to keep the spine nice and stretched, just allowing the stretch to come from the neck. You can release your left hand back down and then start to roll the neck backward, dropping the head back to open up the front of the neck. If you like, you can lift the right fingertip up, feeling sensation in the top of the shoulder, maybe down the arm. I am taking a few more deep breaths here. And gently lifting the head back to the neutral position, planting left hand down, the reaching the right arms up, over stretching of the right side body, breathing space in between the ribs, staying ground through the sitting bones. From here, bending the right elbow and place the finger at the base of the, gazing down at the mat. Now take a big breath as you feel the chest open toward the ceiling. Good. As you exhale, run through the spine, through the right elbow, toward the left teeth. Inhale, lift the guys, lift the chest. And exhale, round forward. Inhale to the left. Ex exhale, round. Inhale, reach up. Gaze up. Extending right arm and start to the fine circle here. Moving slowly, mindfully. And then switching directions. Okay, coming back to the center and find a neutral spine. Take a big breath. Now you lift the right arm up, twist toward the right edge of your exhale. Keeping the gaze neutral, feeling the stretch and the right to the in the mid back. Taking one more breath. On your left exhale, slow come back to center. Interlacing finger the same way as before. Putting the hand into first, you draw the first down toward the ground, stretch out the elbow, lift the chest, draw the belly forward. Taking three deep breaths here, keeping the chest ripped. 
through the grand drone together. And then whenever you are ready, slowly release your lip, placing the finger to in front of you, gently walking forward, coming into your seat forward, forward. On your next press, slowly lift yourself up. Stay in your seat position. We are going to extend the arms out into the T. Keeping the spine nice and tall, go ahead, cross the left arm over the body and hook the left arm with your right arms. You feel nice deep stretch in the front of the detours here. Again, try not to stroll in your back. Keep the spine stretch, keep the shoulder relaxed. Go ahead, release the arms. Extending them out into the right shape, teeth breath, switch side crossing the right arm over the body, hooking it with the left arm. Draw the shoulders down and away from the ear. Close your eye and breathe. And open your eyes, extend the arms up wide. We are going to into eagle arms. So you are going to cross the left arm on the knee around the right. So from here, a few different options. You can press back of the hand together, or you can completely walk the left arm around the right arm by pressing the left finger against the right palm. Another option here, if you have super tight, so that you can just wipe your hand on the opposite side, so that if you use this position, see if you can push your sword forward. So you're rounding through the upper back, drawing shoulder brain apart. So again, and pressing the back of the hand together, pressing the left fingertip into the right palm, Wrapping the arm around the shoulders. You hold your heel a few breaths. You can drop the elbow down to get a deeper stretch in the shoulders. Releasing any tension in the traps. Rumble. You can also lift the elbow up so that we're in line. With the shoulder, draw the chin toward the chest, get a stretch on the upper back. Take one last breath here. And then extend the arm back out into the T. You are going to switch side. So crossing right arm on the knee and around the left, either pressing the back of hand together or wrapping the hand around the shoulders, drawing the shoulder forward, bringing the chin to the chest. We are fully wrapping the right arm around the left arm, pressing the right finger into the left palm. From here, we draw the shoulder down. 
by bringing the elbow down. And then if you like more of a stretching on the upper back, you can lift the elbows up, draw your chin towards your chest. Keep activity, pressing the, the arms together. Keep the breath nice and steady. And on your next breath, gently uncross the arm, coming out into a T. Awesome. So we are going to move into our final stretch for today. We are going to come out to right on the belly for the stretch. We are going to get into the shoulders a little bit more here. So laying on the belly. You are going to extend the right arm out to the side, or you can bend it into cartilage like shape. So bending the right elbow, 19 degree angle. We are going to rest the right side of your face on the mat, coming onto left palm, elbow point up toward the sky. From here, you're going to press into the left palm, roll on the right side of your body, then you're going to lift the left leg up and over toward the right side, so you feel a nice stretch. The right shoulder and the right chest, if it is too intense for you, you can press the left leg on the top of the right man, so you are still on the right side of your body. But it's less intense because the left two is in behind you, so you can choose to stay here. If it feels better for you, you can bend the left leg place. Continue to breathe here. If you like a little bit of a different stray, you can extend the left arm up. You can also find behind, bending the left elbow, placing the left hand behind the low back, and you feel the stretch in your left shoulder. If you like even deeper stretch, you can always bend the bottom leg place, bottom feet on top of the ground. But this is super deeper ventilation, so only encourage you to if you feel super warmed up. For everyone, allow your breath to guide you through this stretch. So allow your exhale to soften throughout your body, particularly in the right shoulder. When you're ready to come out of the pool, play left, turn back down, swing back, left, drag, back across the body, and come back to lay on the belly. To switch side, play the left side of your face on the mat, extend the left arm out the side of the bent elbow, place the right hand down underneath the shoulder, press your chest up, Supine onto the left side of your body and you're going to lift the right leg up and cross the left leg. Again, if it's too intense for you, you can place the right leg on top of the left leg and you still feel a really nice stretch and the left shoulder. You can already deepen the stretch by lifting right arms up, binding a vine, or flashing both feet through on the ground.
So play along with whichever vibration best serve you with. Then see you can hold this position for a few more deep breaths. When you're ready to come out of the pose, you're going to flat the right hand back on the mat. Swing the right leg back across the body so then your arm, your body press, both hands underneath the shoulder to lift yourself. Coming into the child pose, big toes together. Knees can be apart together. Go ahead, rest your forehead on the mat through the belly toward the tight. Resting the arms alongside the body. Take a few deep breaths here. Just noticing how the shoulder feels. Noticing how the chest feels the upper back. And on your next inhale, you can slowly lift yourself up, coming into a comfortable seat position, placing the hand on top of knees, gently closing the eyes. Take a few breaths here. And just notice how your body feels in this natural state. Noticing where you create space or openness. And noticing how you feel. Together, together, we are putting our hand to heart center and tucking the chin towards the